Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan and today I've got a brand new video for you. This one is going to be the biggest glitch on my channel by far. Now this is going to be one of the most amazing glitches that you're ever going to use in your life and it's really going to help you out in your Skyrim playthrough. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. Now we're going to be heading to Falkreath as of right now and the things we're going to be looking for are yellow mountain flowers. Now there's a specific location near Falkreath that we're going to go to that carries like at least 50 of them. I believe when I went in there was at least 50 of the yellow mountain flowers. Now there are other ways of creating the potion that we're going to be creating later on, but I found this to be the quickest way of getting the ingredients for the potion itself. Now this is a fortify restoration potion glitch that really branches off into a bunch of different glitches. You know, it's a infinite gold uh, level up extremely fast. I believe I got to level like 80 using this glitch and uh, you can get really high levels like that and uh, you can get the best armor in the game you can smith armor that makes you invincible and you can craft weapons that are millions of damage so it's a one-hit kill no matter what so we're going to be going to this location it's east of Falkreath called ancestor glade and uh, once you're inside you're just gonna ignore everything I really just ignored all the enemies that were in it I believe there were only two or three enemies they're like mother spriggans or like that and they're really annoying so you're just gonna run past them and we're gonna run all the way down to the center of the room down here and there's a bunch of yellow flowers that you can pick up now these are gonna be very useful for the potions that we're gonna be crafting later because you have to make a lot of fortify restoration potions potions so this just really speeds up the process and it can really get you on your way to having the best armor in the game leveling up super quick and uh, it's just really good overall so once you're done picking all the flowers, we're going to be leaving Ancestor Glade and we're going to be going back to Whiterun. Now Whiterun is the best location to do this, I think, because there in Dragon's Reach, there's a enchantment table as well as an alchemy station, like literally right next to each other. Uh, but right now we're going to be going into the alchemy shop. Now I strongly suggest saving before you do any of this because uh, if you mess up at all, it might be hard to get back on track so you can restart all over. Now basically what we're going to be buying from the alchemy shop is salt piles. Salt piles is what you're going to need for the second component to the restoration potion and uh, once you buy the salt pile she sells them in like one or two increments and uh, you can purchase them like that and I found this really cool and fast and easy way to restock her inventory basically all you do is you quick save and then you just kill her and then you load the quick save back up and she'll have a whole new list of ingredients and everything will be restocked it's way faster than waiting 48 hours like in my previous glitches uh, I didn't know that you could do this you could just quick save then kill them and then reload load it and their whole inventory is restocked so uh, yeah that pretty much works for that and uh, keep doing this until you have around you know 30 or 40 salt piles it shouldn't take you that long considering salt piles are very common you guys might already have them stockpiled in your inventory if you don't use them and uh, yeah it's pretty easy to get them all around so once you have around 30 to 40 of the yellow flowers and the salt piles we are gonna be traveling back up to Dragon's Reach and uh, we're gonna meet with this guy here he's the mage and we're going to ask him what he has for sale and we're strictly going to be looking for the most powerful soul gem now I recommend grand but if your enchanting skill is really high like mine is you might not have to have grand and as you can see I'm using the glitch here as well I quick save and then I kill him and then I reload it and it restocks his inventory so I can check to see if he has grand soul gems because that's what we're looking for here and uh, on my second try he does and uh, so that really worked and I'm gonna be buying the grand soul gem from him now now we're gonna be using these to make rings and a necklace and I already had a headpiece that allowed me to fortify my alchemy and uh, my alchemy right now and my enchanting are at a hundred so yours don't have to be at a hundred so don't worry about that if they aren't at a hundred or they aren't very high it'll just take a little bit longer to do you can still do the glitch don't worry and it'll just take a little bit longer if your skills not really high now basically what I'm doing now is I'm going to be making the fortify alchemy necklace and also the ring and uh, since my enchanting skill is really high they do up to 25% better potions but yours are going to be different if your skill is not 100 and that's perfectly fine like I said it's just going to take you a little bit longer to do the glitch and that's still perfectly fine and uh, basically what we're going to be doing is putting on all the stuff that we just created just to make our potions as powerful as we possibly can and then you're going to go into the alchemy lab and actually craft your first 
first restoration potion. Now it's the saw pile and the uh, yellow mountain flower. And we're going to back out after using that. And we're going to drink the potion that we just created. And then go into your apparel and take off your uh, stuff that fortifies your alchemy and put it right back on. As you can see, it jumps straight up to 55% more powerful. And we're going to jump straight back in and make another fortify restoration potion. Basically, taking off the... Uh, armor that has the enchantment on it and then putting it back on maximizes the enchantment and it lets you keep it for some random reason I don't know how it does and uh, as you can see now if you look at the percent powerful it really jumped up on percentage it's like a hundred plus now and you're basically just gonna be continuously doing this until you get a really high number now I strongly suggest not going too high because it can really crash your game and uh, I have an example for that later I'll show you it's kind of funny and uh, Basically, yeah, like I said, you're just going to be doing this over and over and over again until you get up into the really high percentages. And uh, once you get there, then I'll show you what to do from there on out. Just a reminder, again, as I said, uh, once you drink the potion, make sure that you take off your armor and you put it back on or else this will not work. If you do not put your armor, if you do not take your armor off and put it back on, then they won't stack on each other for some reason. I don't know how it works, but that's just you know how the glitch works and uh, if you keep doing that then you'll be able to make the best potions in the game now if you go too far with this you will actually get a negative number a negative percentage and uh, I strongly recommend not using this potion because if you do then this will happen Yeah, so your game will totally crash if you use a potion that's in the negatives, which makes sense because, you know, negatives don't make sense at all, so it, it would just crash your game. Now, uh, I moved Alchemy Stations because I had to load a save because my game crashed, but what we're going to be doing now is creating a potion of Fortify Enchanting. Now, the stuff for the Fortify Enchanting potion that you're going to be needing is either an Ancestor Moth Wing, a Blue Butterfly Wing, a Charis Hunter Antenna, a Hag Raven Claw, snowberries spawn ash or sprig and snap you can combine any of those and you'll be able to make a fortify enchanting potion and that'll get you right up to where we are now and once you have that fortify enchanting potion that's in the billions you're going to drink it and then you're going to create a weapon or a piece of armor that has a damage uh enchantment on it and as you can see right there my former bow does like 2 million damage now and that is completely insane and uh, it really works out well and actually to go off of the alchemy glitch I'm going to create another ring using the enchantment potion that I created and we're actually going to be making a ring that does like 1 million percent more powerful potions so that's just going to maximize completely everything as you can see I'm going to show you the ring right now that is an insane amount of percentage that we're going to be having to make our later potions Potions. Now the potion that we're going to be making next is the fortify smithing now for these There's only four of them that you could possibly get and they're pretty well-known things So there's blister warts glowing mushrooms saber cat tooth and sprig and sap You can combine any of these two and you can create a fortify smithing potion And once you have the potion of fortify smithing that makes your smithing like a billion times better or a billion percentage we're gonna head down to the forge and we're not gonna drink it yet but we are gonna create a suit of iron armor now you can make any suit of armor but I made iron because my smithing was like at 15 whenever I first did this and uh, you're gonna drink your smithing potion that makes it a billion times better and you're gonna go into the workbench and you're gonna create these armor into legendary and as you can see my smithing went from 15 to 50 and then from 50 to 100 all in like a second and that leveled me up so so fast so so this is the reason why this glitch could also be a leveling up super quick glitch because I went from level like 20 to like 81 in like the matter of 20 to 30 minutes and it's an insane glitch guys I strongly recommend using this and if you put the piece of armor on you are now practically invincible and no one can kill you and it's just a really cool glitch in general and combining it with the most powerful weapon which is my bow in this example it does like 2 billion damage you're just an unstoppable tank and nothing can kill you and you can kill anything in one shot it makes the game a lot more easier and it makes it a lot more fun just to fool around and just kill people and you're pretty much invincible no one can kill you so yeah I strongly recommend using this glitch just to have some fun and you can also level up super quick and also get infinite gold from selling these potions and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the glitch 
footage. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, I would appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll keep these Skyrim videos coming for you guys. I really enjoy making these. Once again, I want to say thank you all for the support recently. You guys have been killing it with the likes. And uh, it really means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And I will talk to you guys later.